Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. In this very exciting video of algebraic challenging equations, where we are going to solve an interesting quartic equation. Equation is x square plus 6x plus 8 times x square minus 8x plus 15 equal to 72. While solving, I will use algebraic identities, manipulation, quadratic equation, quadratic formula. We will conclude our result. So let's get started. Because equation is quartic, so we are going to find out four solutions. I will consider x square plus 6x plus 8. I will split this central term in two terms. x square plus 2x plus 4x. Similarly, for the second bracket, I will split this negative 8 in two terms minus 3x minus 5x plus 15 equal to 72. Okay, now from first two term I will take here, I will take x common. So x, x plus 2. Here again I will take 4 common. So 4 times x plus 2. That is why I said again, because x plus 2 is coming twice. In second bracket, I will take x common from first two term. It will become x minus 3. Now I will take minus 5. I will get x minus 3 equal to 72. From first bracket, I will take x plus 2 out common. So x plus 2 times x plus 4. Here, I will take x minus 3 common. What is left? That is x minus 5. So, uh, our equation converted into simple product form degree 1. Okay. Now, if I will consider first 2, then I will be having x square plus 6x plus 8. That is what the original form is. I am not going to substitute. So what I am going to consider, I will pick these two brackets in one basket and the other one in other. So let me write first x plus 2 x minus 3. Then I will write x plus 4 x minus 5 equal to 72. Expand this, I will get x square minus 3x plus 2x minus x. 2 times minus 3 minus 6. Second bracket. x times x, x is square minus 5x plus 4x minus x minus 20 equal to 72. Now it is clearly visible if I will give substitution x square minus x this equal to t this equal to t, then that product would be quadratic. So degree 2 polynomial we will get. Let me write, let me write here, let x square minus x equal to t. Okay, so equation will become t minus 6, t minus 20 equal to 72. Now we have to solve t minus 6 times t minus 20 equal to 72 rather to solve this equation. Okay. And our substitution is x square minus x is equal to t. Let's solve this equation. So I will write t minus 6 times t minus 20 equal to 72. Now expand this. t square minus 26t minus 20t minus 60 and minus 6 times minus 20 so it will become plus 120 equal to 72. Take 72 to the left side t square minus 26t plus 48 equal to 0. So again I will use this split splitting of central term or middle term. I will write t square minus 2t, 26 as 2 and 24, minus is as it is, 
if you will apply quadratic formula that will give bigger number 26 is square you will get 4 times 48 so that would be bigger i will take t common from the first two term t minus 2 minus 24 common from last two i will get t minus 2 again so if i will take t minus 2 out common then i will be having t minus 24 equal to 0. From here we can conclude t must be 2 or 24. Okay. Now I am going to put back the substitution. What was our substitution? If you remember x square minus x is equal to t. So I am going to write x square minus x equal to 2 and 24. So one equation I will be having x square minus x minus 2 equal to 0. This is equation number 1 and equation number 2 will be x square minus x minus 24 equal to 0. Let's solve both the equations to find out our final solution. So let me write equation number 1 x square minus x minus 2 equal to 0. Okay. Let's apply quadratic formula here. x is equal to minus b. So 1 plus minus b square 1 minus 4ac plus 8 divided by 2a. So 2. Let me consider second equation also. x square minus x minus 24 equal to 0. From here I can write x is equal to minus b. So 1 plus minus under the root b square minus 4ac. So plus 96 over 2a. So 2. x will become 1 plus minus root 9 over 2. In this equation we will be having 1 plus minus root 97 over 2. From first one, I will write 1 plus minus 3 over 2. Second equation, I can write 1. It won't be in square root 97. We cannot find out anything. So it would be as it is. No need to write further. This is our real root. Two roots. Real two roots. Now come to this one. If I will consider plus, then 4 over 2, 2. If I will consider minus sign in between 1 and 3, then it will become minus 2 over 2 for so minus 1. Here we are having 4 solutions, 4 real solutions. Let's verify minus 1 and 2. So I will write here verification. Let us verify x is equal to minus 1 first. Okay. So minus 1 is square, here I am putting in this equation, minus 1 is square, 1 minus 6 plus 8. Second bracket, 1 plus 8 plus 15. Is it coming out 72? So 9 minus 6, 3 times 15 plus 8, 23 plus 1, 24. So it is 72 verified. Now come to x is equal to 2. That was our second solution. So I will write 2 square 4 plus 12 plus 8. Second bracket 4 minus 16 plus 15. Is it 72? Let's verify. 12 plus 8, 20, 20 plus 4, 24. It should be 3. 15 plus 4, 19, 19 minus 16, 3. So yes, 72 is coming out. X is equal to 2 is also correct solution, true solution. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck.